I can't wait for Mega Man 2 to come out on uh, 3DS eShop. Has that not happened yet? I thought that was going to happen. No, no. Uh, Mega Man 1 came out. Uh, Mega Man 2 comes out in February. Oh. Uh... So we're close. And I own 2, 3, and 4, the actual NES carts, and I really like playing it on the NES, and I'm still going to buy them all. Yeah. I'm the same way. I, uh, I think every... Holy <laughs> God! Okay, that was like getting the skateboard in Adventure Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... <sighs> Look, girl. Oh my god, I'm... There's like no way to stop it! And it threw me off a second level. Oh my god. Yeah, bummer. Code Jam and Earl, you are a frustrating video game. <laughs> I just, yeah. Is this like one of the first instances of uh, instant death spawn where you just like spawn like right in someone's like a sniper's vision in like Call of Duty? Don't t put those on. <laughs> This is my best chance. No. Total bummer. I think that kills you. I think if you hit triangle, you can switch it to drop. One of them. Uh, oh, a circle. If you bring it up and hit circle. Okay, there we go. Getting any closer to finding the door, you think? I don't think so. Come on, game, drop me somewhere cool. I think if you sneak up on Santa, he'll drop a bunch of presents. Okay. But I didn't I didn't see him until he was already flying off. Alright, this is complete crap. Because... Do you see the, the screen I pulled up? Uh -huh. 
right at the corner that I need to turn right at to get to the door, there's a pink devil. Okay, finally back up to your level. Something that'll let us fly. We're actually gonna get some other, some of these little islands. I think unless it's just one of those where the ground just pops up in front of it. Crap. Oh, you made it! Wait, I, I'm in a different spot. Oh, I am. Okay. Oh no! Oh, now I feel two levels. Oh no! I was like, oh no, did it freeze? It does lag a little. No! You... God damn it. So frustrating. Only 30 more levels to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never gonna make it. And I'm stuck on an I I island again. There we go. That's what really blows is now you have to wait till I get all the way up there. Yeah, but oh, even though even though we've been on level seven, yeah, yeah, that does blow. Thank you. 
I realized that I could probably be out walking around, exploring. <laughs> it's too risky. It's way too risky. Yeah, there was a pink uh, devil just like chilling there. <laughs> okay, that, that one was pretty funny. Well, look on the bright side, you're a peanut. What? <laughs> you're a peanut. Your level is peanut. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's that a bright set? Um, okay. And really good news is I have a doorway. Did it teleport you somewhere different? Uh, oh crap, it did. Somewhere that you've already been. Oh, hula girl. Progress. Are you a peanut now? I think so. Peanut. What? What? Watermelon. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck if the Cupid arrow hitting the door at the time like that would would like screw up the door <laughs> and send us back to World Six or Level Six? Like uh, Bill and Ted when they broke the antenna on top of the phone booth. Yeah, and Bill and Ted too, and the guitar gets stuck on top. Yeah. <laughs> This girl that I work with, her boyfriend and all of his family are like little big movie buffs and like she showed me some pictures uh, of Halloween this last year and everybody picked a, a character from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh, that's awesome. They even had a, a booth and everything. <laughs> Why not do it to us? Oh my god, I just I deserve every bit of that. No 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 Dr. 
That is a freaky laugh. <laughs> Terrible cackle. Cool chicks. You know, if I'm ever in Hawaii, I'll probably stop every five seconds around a girl that's wearing a hula skirt and dance like that and she'll have no idea why. <laughs> Who's calling? <laughs> oh, man. There was an item on the ground. Whoa! There's a bunch of chickens firing a tomato cannon at me. Naturally. Did you ever make a potato cannon? I've not. As a kid, I never did. Yeah, me either. That always seemed awesome. Hit by oh man, I'm in the wrong spot. Have you been hit by a tornado yet? Not yet. Oh, I think I'm about to find out what happens. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I deployed the first time. It was in. Uh, it was during the invasion. It was in March of '03. We were out. Okay. We were out in the middle of nowhere in like the south eastern Iraqi desert, and uh, we, it was quicksand like this everywhere, and tomatoes flying at you. Uh, pretty much, yeah. And <laughs> we were sitting on this freaking hill where we had uh, emplacements, and all of a sudden, this freaking dirt devil, like 50 feet high, comes out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, and it just goes right over my uh, my team leader. He had the uh, the dirt devil is a tornado thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Except not okay. not as big. It's just freaking. But it was huge. It just came out of nowhere. It was freaking crazy. That's cool. I, he was all right, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, okay, I think he so got sand cool. in his mouth. But other than that. I feel like this game is analogous to that. Just random, like, just bullshit <laughs> knocking it over. Okay, that's stopping messing with me as much. Ooh, I got a doorway. I do not have the buttons down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I thought I was dropping that. That was great. Dude, I'm gonna get a second game over. It's okay. Oh, hey, there's the elevator. Yeah. Let's just go to it. Oh, pizza. Oh my god. Oh my. And I. I just got run over by a lawnmower. Feels like uh paper boy. Dude, he's fast. And he doesn't give up. What is this crap? Oh, you're gonna make it? Yeah, you got it. 